All right, I just hit the record button. So this is our stranger, or excuse me, this is our Infernal Shrines game against 10 armor. Um, we are joined by Baby Valk number three, as well as Osprey in the Discord. Now I gotta try to fix my camera that I just messed up. But like I told Akimbo, it's not like you guys actually care about what I'm doing when I'm recording these. There, okay, so I want to show you probably the first maybe two minutes and then we're going to fast forward to the last three minutes and that's really going to be the whole video but while i'm fast forwarding i'm going to have you guys watch right here so here we are we we came for the customary first fight because if we can get a whole bunch of gold and stacks that's a win for us and we can play back enough to make sure we don't get dead But we got the wave cleared. Tychus ain't doing crap for damage because, hey, I'm Joe. I can blind him. So we cleared it. We're going to rotate. We left our wisp so we can see their location. I'm going hyper aggressive here because, again, I, I can soak a ton of damage. And now the three of them are not rotating. They are instead trying to kill me. But we've already cleared the wave here. We even pick up a Arthas kill and oh so close but again he just wasted his tap early we've already cleared this wave watch our experience lead so we're already a quarter of a level ahead of them which lets us do some of these hyper aggressive things like take this camp and in this case and it leads to Orphea getting dead yeah be be quick to to pivot like that camp we were even going to take once they sniffed it out so we just bailed out of there and got a kill for our troubles but if even if you don't get a kill just oh. getting away is fine and look at the level experience here we are three quarters of the way through level three already and they just started it so Malthale's been doing a little bit of double soaking he took on a pale horse which is stupid strong uh, baby Valk is putting her two cents in too. But we're ahead. We've already cleared this wave here. They have they just lost one minion and they have to clear this camp. Well, we took another camp while they were doing that. We come here aggressively. We're going to start on this camp. And one of these two groups is going to come. And when one of those two groups comes, we're going to be able to get a kill. We get the camp for free. We go in. And we've pumped out some more damage. Well, now, again, they're still split. We should get one of these two. Oh, I don't know why we didn't make that call. Garbage. All right, Shrine's up. We're up a good half a level. A little bit more than that. Tychus thinks he's doing all this damage. Joe don't care. All right, we're gonna watch this first shrine fight and then we're gonna go to my fast forward plan. I think this is actually the only shrine that we win. So they've got a 10 skeleton lead, but we've got a camp that's now gonna push top and the other lanes are even. Arthas is dead. We got him on a body block slant. Malthale's going nuts. We pick up an Orphea kill. They're still ahead by six, but now Tychus died for his troubles. And Malthale ate it out alive. Yeah, that was clutch heals by Wits. Yeah, Rhaegar may be one of Wits' very best, and we consider him the best Rhaegar in Division C and possibly divisions above that as well. Okay, Frozen Punisher, you should almost always hard push with a Frozen Punisher now because of their shutting down structures. I hope I can hear Baby Valk number two behind me in the other room now. So we got the outer wall. Well, we've actually left one part of the outer wall. There we go. So now it's shut down. 
they got collapsed on. Baby Valk number three is wiggling a lot. Oh, Tychus, Tychus, dead. Nice. Okay, at this point, we don't need to stay anymore. And I think this might be where Wits and I pick up our deaths for being dumb. Oh, so it was Deathshade who, uh, who was at fault there. I already said I was leaving. Um, but he stayed longer, but... Oh, no, oh, it's, that's it's the next got... time. All right, okay. well, if you watch the comms video, you'll watch Wits and I be really stupid. But here, I'm going to jump ahead quite a bit. I just want you guys to focus up here on the experience bar as it's skipping. So here we are. We just hit 10. They're still 8. We just went in for a team fight. You can see all of our ults go. We killed Tychus. We killed Arthas. Now it's 11 to 9. Our ults are coming back up. We just went for another team fight. Okay, there was our our problem because Wits and I died. So we died around level 12. But we could make some of those stupid mistakes because we're so ahead. 13 to 12, we're still going. Looks like I got killed again. But we're up major talent tiers constantly because of the rotation mid bot, mid bot, mid bot, mid bot. Now we're up 16 to 14. We're about 40 seconds from the replay catching itself. We just lost Goldan. Okay, so here we are. This final shrine, so we, we lost the second shrine which went bottom, we took the first shrine. Here we are, the third shrine just popped top. Originally people said, oh, we gotta get there. No, we have bottom lane pushed in we have mid lane is starting to win, and you can see we are going to cap all four of these camps. Oss, has the video caught up for you yet? It has. Okay, so here we go. So we take one, one camp. One more thing, sorry. Oh. We, we still have all of our forts, so that's why we were okay with... Yeah, if you're going to trade a fort for a keep, you should always make that decision if yours is the keep that or if yours is the fort and theirs is the keep take the keep so here they are they're like oh sweet we're gonna win this well now we've got two camps spear throwers which outrange keeps mid we've got another spear thrower bot and they can see us coming in wailing well we see that the shrine has stopped ticking minions and they've shown up so now we're, it's four on four bot, it's one on camp mid. Now we've got our five. We know we've got another camp top. So our goal is to make them choose. We want to keep them here mid as long as, or excuse me, bot as long as possible. Because then that camp is going to be on this keep. And a shaman camp can take a keep. It won't take core, but it'll take keep. So we see them mid, they just cleared our camp. We're still dancing, staying outside of keep range. So they're not getting any free damage out on us, but they have to answer us because if they move, we get to go in. Okay, now Shaman Camp's going to town. He's got a catapult behind him. So here we see her show on the map and we are go calling out like crazy. Okay, she's top, she's top, she's top. So we, I don't know why we backed one more time. We're waiting for our minion wave, but we're engaging hard here. We're spending our ultimates. We killed one, we killed two. And the others, they have to back off because they can't stop us. So now our camp took top keep, we took bottom keep. We've got pressure mid if we really wanted it. We scare off Orphea, we kill Tychus. Even Wits getting caught in that didn't even matter. He was too high health, she started it too early, and we have so much pressure and three of them dead, and we just melt the core. So in that- That's what- Oh, go ahead. Sorry, and that's what you referred to as checkmate. Yeah, so in that Sky Temple game, you guys had that camp going top, and you all went to the bottom where the, the temple was activating, which is fine because now they have to choose. But 
you're spending so much time running down that Jaina clears it. We have a fight go bad because we're split around walls. And we could have instead created a choice between, okay, are they going to stay on the temple? Because if they stay on the temple and we've got camp and catapults and a five-man push top, we will melt the core before the temple does. It's consistent damage, but it's slow damage. And so we would create that checkmate in them. So I want you to look for opportunities there where you can force them into a checkmate situation. And I think you'll find that those are easier to create than you're thinking. I feel like you could have won that Sky Temple match. It was real close on what changed it, but you could have won too. So I'm going to wrap up this video. Oz, do you have anything else to add? Nope. Was okay. good. Keep up the work, good work, guys. We expect some exciting things from Stranger Pings.